Hi YouTube, Create557 here, Diana with you to share a video on um, avocado dye. I was watching DC Scrap and Rooster, Nettie, hi Nettie, and um, she, she actually did this and she demonstrated it so beautifully. Please do not compare us. But here we go. What she did was she uh, she split her avocado in half, scooped out the meat, and saved it for now, uh, guacamole. And then she rinsed out the skins, put them in water, and boiled them for 15 minutes. After that, she simmered it for 25, and she had put all of the pieces that she wanted to dye into the pot. After the 25 minutes, she turned off the heat, rinsed the pieces and laid them out to dry and after 15 minutes she showed the before and after which is what I'm going to do this is my before right here for my first one nice and stark white and this is my after you end up getting just a little hue like a shabby chic look it's not vintage it's like a shabby chic just like a little tiny you know and here you go I don't know if this is better to look at. I'm, I don't have good lighting today, guys. I don't know why. This is organza. And this is the before. And this is the after. And I think you can actually see the difference. Here we go with this lace. I didn't think the lace took. But when I compared it to the before, it did take. And I love the look. On a few of them that happened to me. Here's the before and after. This one was quite obvious, you know. Um, this one wasn't. This one was just like a step darker. But I like it, you know. And then I didn't have an extra one for this one. But and then I have this one. This one you can see the pinkish. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Honestly, you want to hurry up and do a project with them. That was my first batch. Then my second batch, I was... I had mixed feelings with... No, actually, I liked my second batch because look at this. Oh, I never thought that I would get this contrast on my second batch. I thought this would be a third batch. But this type of material just took to the dye. And look how gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. I didn't have an extra piece of this and I really didn't want to cut it. But look how pretty this is. It's just so pretty. This is my before for this lace. And this is my after. It's just like some pieces, it's just a little tiny heel and others are super deep. My, you know, my grapes here, look. The edges really took, so they look almost like if I cinched them with fire. They're really pretty. This here, that's my before and this is my after. I love it. I didn't have extra on these two. But look how pretty. This one was just white, like a lacy see-through white with pink on the edge. And so now the white, the lacy white became like a muted. And then the pink became darker. It's just so, so pretty. I love it. Look. Can you see? And then this, this nice uh, Venice lace. That there is my second. And then my third, I expected my third to be super duper dark, but wait until you see it. Yay! One of the things that um, Nettie explained was that she discovered that the, the thicker the material, the deeper the color. And she's right. Um, these came out gorgeous. Two different hues of pink, totally vintage looking, gorgeous. Okay, look at this one. This is thick, thick material. This one, I wasn't even going to show you because I thought it didn't take at all. I just threw it off to the side. And then from the corner of my eye, I, I, I saw something. And when I looked, it was really, really pretty. So because I didn't have another piece to compare, I thought it didn't take, but it really did. And it's beautiful. If you have this, it's beautiful. Okay, this one, the same thing. I didn't think that it had taken, but it did take. Yeah, what's that? Okay, 
but it on some of them you have to compare in order to see the difference this the difference is just so minor it almost doesn't feel like you should do it but if you when you put it next to other things it pops out even more so i do think it's worth it i do i really do i like it i'm i'm moving it around to see if maybe it looks better for you in different positions a different oh my god i don't even know what word to use these white leaves i'm sure you guys have seen them in the past and they took beautifully i mean you can buy these in pink but they don't look like this i have these in pink they don't look nothing like this they look brand new and modern and when you dye them they have an old touch to them old world it's beautiful really and it's not even difficult guys when you don't have nothing to do just do that and then you get to eat your guacamole it's so delicious and then here's this chinese braid ribbon look how gorgeous or trim i love it this here um is green and it has white little rose buds and those I actually have this ribbon in pink. Again, it does not look anything like this. This looks like if you got it, you know, at an, a thrift shop or something, antique shop or something. It's old looking, good old, the kind that us crafters love. Okay. And then just this little tiny one at the end that I just happened to throw in there. Right now I have cheesecloth in there and I have paper doilies in there to see how that turns out. So that's it for me. I do recommend doing this. It's a nice, nice craft. Doesn't take much time. <clears throat> and your husband will love it because you can make him some guacamole for yourself. And um, leave me some comments to see what you think or if you've done it in the past and it has worked for you. I've already had my my skins in the in a bowl now. I transferred them to a bowl. And I've had them for two more than two more for more than two days so that's more than 48 hours and no bad smells then the skins are not like falling apart all over the place i don't know how long i can keep them but i don't intend to keep them much longer but let me know what you think or if you have some better tips that i can use and um thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video and i hope to see you soon bye